this tutorial, I'll give a high-level overview of the concept of a theme and what it means in the context of Drupal. I'll explain what types of files and assets go into a theme, what kind of background knowledge is useful in order to customize a theme, what else there is to know, and where to go next to become a master of theming in Drupal. Themes make a Drupal website look the way it does. It determines the look and feel as well as the first impression to your site's visitors. Each individual theme is a collection of files that define the presentation layer for your application. Themes are generally one of the first places where code is customized for a Drupal site and are in many cases unique to the individual site they were created for. Themes are used to change the HTML markup of anything in Drupal. Add CSS styles to change the layout, color, or typography on one or more pages, or use JavaScript to enhance the user experience. PHP can be used to further customize output before it's rendered on the page. Rather than starting from scratch, Drupal themes start from existing HTML and make changes as needed by overwriting and changing just the necessary templates. Some themes only need to modify a few select bits, while others may choose to override nearly everything. Either way, if it's HTML, you can change it with a theme. In order for this to work, every component in Drupal that needs to display something in the browser does so by providing a simple, minimal HTML template for that element. Whether it's the content of a node, the site logo displayed in the header, or even the header region itself, the required HTML is rendered from a template. These templates can be optionally overridden by a theme in order to change the markup they generate. Without having to write any code for a theme, you can install, enable, and configure an existing theme through the Drupal interface. Or you can download and install new themes from drupal.org. You can even download a theme to use as a base theme and keep your customizations in a sub-theme. Once you're ready to start creating your own custom theme or modifying an existing theme, you'll want to know about the structure and organization of a theme's files, describing your theme with an info file, using base themes, defining regions, the twig template language, overwriting template files, adding CSS and JavaScript asset libraries, and using PHP for pre-processing of dynamic content. To truly master theming, you must first be a master of HTML and CSS, and knowledge of JavaScript is often important. You'll also want to get comfortable with YAML, and if you need help, we've got a video tutorial for that as well. Once you're ready to dive into theming in Drupal 8, use our extensive and ever-expanding Drupal 8 theming guide, which was created to help you on your way to Drupal 8 theming mastery. To recap, themes determine your Drupal site's look and feel. In a typical theme, you'll find meta information about the theme and its regions and dependencies, one or more CSS files, JavaScript, custom images, and template files that contain the markup of your theme's pages and their components. To master theming, you'll need to first be a master of HTML and CSS, know some YAML, and it won't hurt to know some JavaScript too, depending on the needs of your site. Check out our Drupal 8 theming guide and learn to master theming in Drupal 8.